This is the video review of Transformers Avenger of the Fallen Deluxe Class Sideswipe. I got him today, he's a really awesome figure. This figure is from the upcoming Transformers Revenge of the Fallen movie line, and what makes this toy so special is that its vehicle mode is a concept and will only be made for the Revenge of the Fallen movie. But let's get to the toy itself. The vehicle mode is really slick and cool. It um has four exhaust pipes. The blue windshields are a nice touch. Blue is my favorite color. The rubber wind, the ru rubber mirrors, the car symbol itself. You see underneath, you see its arms and its legs. This side of the car is packed actually the blades that you see in the toy itself. Rolls nicely. Looks cool in all angles. Really nice transformer to have. Okay, let's get to some vehicle comparisons. Here he is on my Revenge of the Fallen Sideways, who was confirmed to be sideways, not barricade. My mistake. I fixed my review. Because it was named barricade in my review. You see the toy looked really cool with the other deluxe class cars from the movie lines, one and two. Basically the same size. You can see. Really awesome toy. Okay, let's enough I think that's enough for the car mode. Let's get to the transformation itself. Excuse me while I move these toys. I like to start with the arms. You gotta pull them down like this. This side of the car, you pull them. You bring them down. One second. There we go. And you bring them down. So you see the blades are here. Do them like that for now. Now we want to do the legs. You want to bring. You want to bring these parts down. And now that the legs are down. You want to unhinge this. It's actually hinged. They can't be separated. They have to be unhinged. And they can be moved all the way to the side for now. And you see now that we it started like this. We pull this part down. And when you do that, the whole front windshield comes down. You see, basically, you can see the robot mode starting to form. Now you have to bring this part up and slide it down. You see his face already. Now you have to position the arms properly so this part can clip to the top. You see? And there's a peg that goes into that slot right there. And you clip it. And you can basically start seeing the robot mode by now. You want to bring these parts all the way in and fold them. And then you want to fold them outwards. Hold on, let me move the arm out of the way. Let me do that again. We start it like this. Fold them to the side. And bring it up. In a second. Okay, you fold this down and this up to leave it like that but then you gotta bend it to the side same thing here this down fold this down and this up just the arms here too and you fold it to the side and there you have the back properly transformed the feet are kind of a problem on this figure because of the wheel but I found a kind of a solution to prevent it from like keeping steady. So you want to slide. You want to move the foot from here to this angle. And the back, you bend, bend a little bit to get like a little foot stand so you can stand properly. And you bring this part of the wheel down. Same thing with this one. Fold it forward. Bend this part. Fold it down. And fold the other part. And you want to bring the legs up like that so you can make his legs look more connected to the waist last part is the hands that are in here you want to drag them out okay and there we have him so you see it's kind of hard to keep him standing because of the wheels but I learned if you can bend the foot a little bit like upwards the kickstand in the back keeps him steady It's still a little complicated, but give me a second. Mm. 
There we go. That's the only thing I have to say wrong about the figure. The legs are kind of hard to keep steady. You can see. There we go. You can see the face. I'm going to bring him towards the camera. There we go. You can see the face properly. He has like distinguishing lines on his face. There we go. You can see the side of it. Spin it. The tunnel that makes his eyes glow. Blue eyes, of course, that goes for almost all of the Autobots. I think all of them have blue eyes. I may be mistaken. Okay, the swords come down by bringing them down like this. You bring one down, and it comes. The other one comes automatically, which is kind of like an Automorph feature from the first movie. You see, the blades are really cool. They do a lot of creative posing. It's awesome. There's a mech lie feature when you bend the knees this part comes out so I guess that's what they call mech alive these um, pipes are made of rubber they move in and out when you position the legs you can see oops sorry see he's a really cool toy the only thing about it I have to say about him is that it's really hard to stand him even with the kickstand in the back it's really hard to stand him. There we go. Look at him. Okay, let me just get you a look from behind and then we're gonna do some comparisons. Really cool toy. Really cool toy. Okay, we do some comparisons. You're not gonna see it's gonna be instant. So you see here, he's pretty much a decent, regular size deluxe class toy. See, him and, the, him and sideways are about almost the same height. He's shorter than Bumblebee. Maybe about the same head, head, from head, head to toe height. The same size as Jazz. But the things in his back make him look bigger. Still, regardless, he's a really awesome toy. Let's put these guys to the side and let's concentrate a little bit more on side swipe. Posability, he has a lot of ball joints. The waist cannot move at all. These are also ball pegs, I guess, which can go around, but you may risk breaking the pipes. The knees bend, like I showed you the arm morph, and the uh, elbows bend. That's about it. Let's get a final look at him before I transform him back. Let me look at his face again. Get focus. There we go. There you see. Really cool face. Really impressive toy. Let's look at the back. And I guess that's it. Let's go to the transformation back. Pull the arms and hands in. Slide the blades up. Just like that. You can also have it like kind of a scissors look if you want. It's pretty cool. The feet, we want to straighten this little piece. Flatten it forward. Same thing with that. This. Flatten this piece. Straighten it out. Bring the legs together. There's a slot and peg here that keeps the legs steady in vehicle mode. Just like that. Okay. Now we want to straighten this piece out. Bring it out. Just like that. Straighten the piece out. Pull it out. Okay, now we want to pull this part down the whole lower body. Like that. And this part has to go over. Just like that. Okay? And then 
you gotta slide the whole upper body to this slot right here so there we go and let's bring this part in you want to slide it down make sure you get this part over the windshield because that's where it's supposed to be slide it down. you hinge it let's see hinge it together like that and just pop the feet in like that and by then we're pretty much transformed we just want to fold the arms in and slide them in like that like that give me a second oh, this isn't in right that's why okay wait maybe I may have this arm put in wrong give me a second Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, same routine. Bring this forward and inward and adjust it like that. And there we have them. Okay, my final thoughts on the figure. I'm very ha happy Hasbro decided to add Sideswipe to the movie. He's one of my favorite G1 characters. The toy is well made, Transform the transformation is not that difficult, and both modes are really impressive. Highly, highly recommended. This is a definite must for all Transformer fans. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this review. My name is Banks, and once again, thank you for watching my review. I have a lot of cool Revenge of the Fallen figures that I just received, so be on the lookout for them. Let me just fix that. Okay, we're done. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is Banks, and thanks again. Bye.